what we're demonstrating here is a water uptake test evaluating water absorption through block that was provided to us that's to be used on the Mesa Verde Park project. This is a burnished block. Um, the left hand side is untreated or natural. The right hand side has one coat of professional water sealant super strength or PWS 15 on it. This test actually measures absorption of moisture through masonry over a time lapse period and also evaluates the effectiveness of a water repellent at reducing that absorption rate. These tubes are graduated in increments up to 60 miles an hour. When filled to the top, they simulate the pressure to the 60 mile wind driven rainwood on the surface. I'm going to fill these tubes slowly to evaluate the difference in absorption. We'll do the left side first. You can see how quickly the water penetrates through the unprotected burnished block. Now we'll fill the right hand side just to protect it with one coat of PWS 15. We've already conducted this test. The standard for the test is if the volume of water in the tube drops 20% or more in less than 20 minutes, it's considered a failure or the masonry is absorbing too much water. We let it stand for 30 minutes in the previous test with no water absorption on the treated side. As you can see on the untreated side, the water is dripping out of the bottom of the block and if I turn this block around we should be able to see water on the back side. You can see where the water's come through the block on this untreated portion. This test is known as Rylum Test Method 2.4, widely accepted in the industry. The second demonstration I intend to do is this is a piece of the sandstone that is also to be used on the Mesa Verde project. The lower half of the sandstone is treated, the upper half is not, and this has one coat of the PWS 8 or extra strength. You can see how the water is absorbing on the top half where it's not treated and how it simply runs off the treated portion.